In this video, this is about showing you how to embellish the wrap pants to bring through your designer elements and your style and look. If you have missed the first video of the complete sew along of the wrap pants, I'll leave the link down below. Go and have a look at it and see the full tutorial on how to sew it. Now don't forget that this you can also add as a service to your clients and actually make wrap pants for all the different types of categories that you could offer for. The second thing is, with your unique look and your unique style, you'll find that people will be attracted to the type of designs and styles that you do. So be true to your style, be true to your designer style that you have within yourself and bring that out because people will identify with your style and start following you. And before you know it, you'll have the right kind of clientele buying from you. So let's have a look at this very plain wrap pants. How we can embellish it, how we can bling it, how we can make it look more exciting, bringing out your own personal taste. I'm going to give you about just hanging dangling down with a nice little, little touch onto your garment, or you can even pin it onto the front of where you're going to tie your belt area, or even just pinning it to the bottom of the trouser. Old applique, which I just cut out from um, lace from a bridal gown that I made. So you can take the straps, for instance, and you can put this braid onto the actual strap. So you can hand tack it and then just turn your strap into this beautiful bling, which is just hanging down when you're actually wrapping your pants. And that's really exciting. You can just hand tack it on. And if you want to take it off, you can just loosen the threads um, once you've just tacked it onto the actual belt. And even if you wanted to add a little bit more on with the gold, Maybe at the bottom of the trouser, maybe just add some of the bling right at the bottom. You can just hand tack it as well. And maybe put it on the, the back side, which is coming over to the front. So it's overlapping in the front area of the trouser. If you prefer more silver, you can even put it onto the strap. So it's just hanging down from the strap. Or what you could do is hand, hand stitch it all the way on the side of both legs or maybe just one. So this is a vinyl that I've actually pressed onto a pair of trousers just to give it some kind of you know designer touch to my garments. Now this I used my scan and cut, my brother's scan and cut machine to actually make these. So what you could do is you can go and buy the vinyl in all different colours and you select a design on your actual scan and cut machine and you can actually print out whatever design you want. So this is two of these little design panels that I did. That's on the sheet right now. So I would just open them up and I've got two on one sheet of, of paper that I can put onto the garment. So here is another pair of trousers that I made. And what I did was on the pocket, I put that applique exactly on the pocket and I took all these little inside pieces and I just sprinkled it's around the pocket. So this is things that you could do as well with your brother's scan and cut machine. Um, or you can actually just go to someone who does, um, you know, vinyl prints that for, for actually to be pressed onto fabric. And you can now tell them to make you one or two designs for you. If you like this kind of content that I'm sharing with you, how about giving me some love? I'd really appreciate it by pressing the like button, you know, and share as well as the subscribe button down below. And please leave some comments below. I'd love to come back to you. Playing like this because it's quite, it's quite outstanding making a statement anyway with the two contrast colors together. Or you can even add some buttons. Go and have a look at some nice buttons. up to you and also you can also take the, um, this particular braid um, I'll show you now it's like a plastic kind of braid but it's very very light you can also put that along the side of the hemline um, of 
your side leg we can put that also on the bottom on the hemline You can make them for beach wear, you can make it in lace, you can make it for evening wear, you can do it in denim for day wear, you can make it very, you can turn it into satin and wear it for an evening function, for a cocktail evening. You can have so much fun exploring the different avenues of the different types of fabrics you can use to create it for different types of events. And that's something that you can also put onto your garment. You can either put it onto the charcoal side or onto the purple side, or this plum purpley side. You can cut it out, cut them out smaller, and maybe just put it on the corners of the bottom of the trousers, just to give it that little bit of embellishment touch. I've got the bigger black appliques, which you can also put on to bring through some black and a bit of drama. Two little buckles. You can buy them at fabric stores, they're not very expensive, this is just a plastic one. You can also get the, the proper silver ones with diamantes on, but they can hook your, your garments. So this is just plastic. So you can also just let this sort of hang at the bottom of your strap. So they're actually not functional, they're just a detail. I am a dramatic designer and that is how I like to wear my clothing and I like to have statements on my garments but if you want to have subtle touches you can put smaller and more refined type of applique and details onto your garments. My name is Tanya Sutherland and thank you so much for watching my video. It's all about enhancing your skills for your sewing and also turn your sewing and designing into a business.